Stop drinking too much. How do you know if you're drinking too much? You regret what you do when you're drinking. It's it's interfering with other important goals. It's causing you financial distress. It's getting you in trouble with your friends or your family. It's getting you in trouble with the police. Stop abusing substances if you can, right? If you see that they're hurting you. Physical health, are you in decent shape? Are you strong and coordinated? And if you're not, you'd be better if you were. <laughs> you'd feel better, you'd be more effective, you'd live longer, you'd be less sick. And you really see that mount up. Like if someone's been in shape once in their life, they age way better. And it's also a really good way of maintaining your cognitive ability. Like, you know, you, you hear about those exercises that you can do online to make you smarter and keep your cognitive ability intact. Yep. Those don't work. There's no evidence that they work. Exercise works. Cardiovascular and weightlifting. You start to decline in your fluid intelligence at about the age of 25. And it's a linear trend downhill and it can accelerate as you get older. It's mm. just like this, quite ugly. Mm. If you exercise, you stave that off. Maintain your relationships and, and foster them. So when I look at successful people, they're really good at something. They're reliable, right? You can count on their word. They're generous and they have a wide, wide connection network which becomes more and more valuable as you get older. So it's one advantage that older people really have over younger people. They have a connection network and a connection network is huge. Well, you could be connected to a thousand well-connected people. Okay, that means you are connected to the entire world. Right, it's unbelievably valuable. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that's so absolutely remarkable about the situation that I'm in right now as far as one of the great benefits is I can contact pretty much anybody and they'll talk to me. It's like, really? That's so cool. <laughs> Having a connection network is of an inestimable value. Reliability, generosity, you can work on both of those. Philosophical sophistication, it's very useful because it orients you properly. You have a, a sophisticated sense of, of the world. You find, for example, that doing things for other people is actually more rewarding than virtually anything else you can do. Right. You know, when you hear you should be of service to other people. Well, if you actually watch yourself, you pay attention to yourself and you do something that helps someone else and it genuinely helps them. I defy you to find another experience that is that satisfying. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite stunning how satisfying that is. And so that's a very useful thing to realize. There's no better life strategy. If, if the ethical argument is put properly, it is by far the most compelling argument. It's like if you want to have everything you could possibly want and more, then be a good person. The better a person you are, the more likely that is to happen. That doesn't mean you that you're completely protected against getting cut off at the knees. but. There's no better strategy. When, I, when my health fell apart, 